Hello and welcome to a new video about my barbecue controller. At least about my measurement part of the barbecue controller. Last time we triggered the sending and this time I want to implement a, a, a send LED so that I can see if something was sent or not. Yeah. And, uh, well, is a, an extra video about the LED making it blink whenever something is happening? It's not possible, yeah? Of course not! Every idiot can build this. But I'm a special, special, special type of idiot. I need more, yeah? Because look at that. Here are the probes, yeah? We have a blue probe, a yellow probe, I have a green probe, and I have this red probe, yeah? And I want to see which one was transferring now. Yeah? So I select an order, yeah? RGB, yellow, RGB yellow, <laughs> RGB Y. Yeah? Uh, and I want that this LED is blinking the correct color for the value it just transferred. Yeah? So I'm using here this RGB LED. So the LED should blink in the corresponding uh, um, color that uh, well, the, the value was transferred now. This is... this is... more special, right? So here, this... Uh, this here I don't longer need. Whoop! Go away. This is the temperature measurement which I've used to Temperature measurement which I have used to, to, to calibrate my sensors. And here is my RGB LED. I will build this in. Right. Put it somewhere. RGB. Here, the middle one should be... I'm using the black one because this is minus. Then, of course, I need... I need uh, resistors to prevent from draining or from, from destroying the RGB LED. This should be R G and B and I'm using the corresponding numbers and I want I want that I can also mix the colors. Yeah, so I'm using uh, Outputs, analog outputs, so PWM outputs of my of my Arduino Nano and R I will put on three because three has PVM, PWM, VM. This is a false friend. In in German W means V, 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 and so I'm always using V, <laughs> V, V is a R, G green. Next one should be green. Hopefully this is correct. The order. This is then 5, and 6 is also PWM. 6, now I'm here above and under and under. Alright. So this is now an RGB LED now, and which it should flash briefly. Huh? When? In the corresponding color. Right, so hardware setup should be finished, should be finished. Hopefully, let's switch to the computer. All right, so at the computer, I will define the AO pins. So I say uh, define LED red was three. I will call it simply RGB. Ah. No, no. Therefore, I'm using this constant that I'm not uh, 5 and 6, this was G, blue, red, green and blue. These are the, the, the LEDs. Then I have, no uh, linearize, I don't need this. Uh, then I need somewhere uh, here, pin mode, LED, red. Output green and blue. 
then I will have a, a timeout LED blink and this should be I don't know 10 seconds at the beginning it shall be 10 seconds uh, and I will write digital right LED green I read zero so at the beginning we are not putting out anything red green blue mm, that's good all right transfer temperature here I will set this here in transfer temperature I will say uh, LED blink set timeout and now it shall only be lit for 100 milliseconds yeah. and here I will make colors const color const byte color and this we have 4 times 3 and I hope I'm getting this right now because R, first one is R, next one is green, next one is blue, RG, and then we have yellow, and this is a little bit green, a little bit re uh, re red, red and green and a little bit blue I hope okay it is not working out like that it's working like that yes. color this is defining my colors good yeah. and now I'm making this output uh, if oh I don't need if uh, I say analog analog right LED red I will output color of temperature number and zero one so every time are green blue every time I send something I will turn on the LEDs yeah? set the LED blink yeah? And here I say if LED blink dot timed out, I will make this, I will turn off all the stuff. And I say LED blink dot set timeout. And this time I use 10 seconds. Then every 10 seconds it will be turned off. Hmm. Is this already working again? is already again working let's upload this let's see what is happening it flashed <clears throat> where is the probe here let's see the red one should transfer yes red the yellow one is not Really nice, the color. I will trigger this longer a little bit and I also make it measure temps. Maybe the timeout, where was the timeout that I can see it more often. Yeah. Transfer trigger. I will use every 10 seconds, send it every 10 seconds. But I can see then the color a little bit better. Because in the beginning it should be RGB, right? Very fast. Red, green, blue. And uh, the last one is not yellow. The last one is for sure not yellow. Hmm. Let's make it like that 255.
Red, green, blue, yellow. <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. I mean, can you see this? Is this, can this be seen here? Here is the LED, and we are sending red, green, yellow. I have to look there, because here is it. Look there. Doesn't really, maybe I am I'm turning this off here. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. You can imagine how it looks like. <laughs> All right, triggering. Now, set this back uh, to, to, here. Yeah. Every 60 seconds transfer. If nothing is changing, every 60 seconds transfer. And if we are sending, where was this? Uh, static loop, blah, blah, transfer temperature. Here, we'll set to 100. So only a short ping, ping, ping. Now send ping. Yeah. Nice, nice. Okay. Okay, okay, now I think we are almost there. Uh, so we are sending this now from here, the temperature and so on. Uh, what we need is a, a receiving part as well. Uh, and up the receiving part. Receiving part, now I'm turning this on again here. Receiving part, I want to use this. I want to use this. This is a TFT display, color TFT display, RGB TFT display to display something. I want to use uh, here uh, this this uh, uh, ESP controller. Yeah? The ESP controller together with this this uh, I again forgot how this NRF twenty four L zero one a communication module yeah? that those two. Can you can communicate? Yeah? This shall display on the TFT display the values. It should shall be a handheld device. Yeah? So that this is this is then somewhere close to the barbecue, and this I can take with me and receive data from there. And from here, then I can also put it to Wi-Fi or whatever, yeah? if I if I like to. Good. Yeah? Uh, good. So this, why I have not just used here Wi-Fi because I want to to be able to operate this also without some Wi-Fi station somewhere. Just this device and this device, and they should be able to operate. Okay, and then the handheld device shall be somehow the hub. Uh, but yeah, this this is the plan. So right now with this um, device at the at the um, barbecue, I'm I'm satisfied. I must say, yeah? I will still add then something with the uh, battery, yeah? so that we have battery operated uh, stuff and. Case, we need a case, we need a battery case, we need a we need a DC DC converter, then we can get from the battery to, to this five volts here. Uh, yeah, and everything fits to a case, and also somehow uh, mount those those uh, connectors and so on, mark them with RGMP so that the order is clear. <sighs> yeah, this is this is that, but that's technically finished before I want to solve basic basic uh, things here with, with this with this uh, with the handle device yeah. see if everything works if I can receive here also this will then be in next video start with this handheld device by I don't know receiving values yeah. using the NRF how is it called? NRF 24L01. I will never remember the name. <laughs> uh, 
uh, on this ESP, on this ESP device. See if I can also get data from there. Yeah, for this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.